I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska Statewide Weather on this Friday, June 3rd. And our main weather story continues to be the very warm and very dry conditions across much of the mainland extending into the northern panhandle. And as a result, we've had some very high to extreme fire danger in these areas. Red flag warnings remain in effect for portions of the northern panhandle, including Haines, Skagway, and Juneau through 9 p.m. this Friday evening as temperatures are continuing to rise back up into the 70s to around 80 degrees. Yesterday, record high temperatures set 83 at Juneau, 84 at Haines. So this has been quite a remarkable stretch. Other parts of the state uh, up through the uh, Matsu Valley have seen temperatures well into the 70s and into the lower 80s. And as we go into Saturday, a red flag warning has been issued for the Susitna Valley, especially from Willow on up through Talkeetna for the possibility of some isolated dry thunderstorms. We're worried about lightning strikes that could cause fires because these areas have uh, very high to extreme fire danger. Also, a fire weather watch has been issued for much of the middle and upper Yukon Valley from uh, Tanana, Lake Minchumina, northeastward through Fairbanks, all the way up through the Yukon Flats, and that's going to be for Saturday afternoon and evening, as well as Sunday afternoon and evening. Wouldn't be surprised if the Fairbanks Forecast Office upgrades that watch to a red flag warning for tomorrow, so stay tuned. If you're going to be out camping this week and doing any outdoor recreating, be extremely careful in the manner use any fire. Refrain from outdoor burning, especially if there are any burn bans in effect, and do things to secure chains or anything that could cause a spark. Avoid activities that could cause a spark. Otherwise, in other parts of the state, uh, cooler temperatures, uh, lower cloudiness, some patchy fog up along the Arctic coast. There is a cold front that will be pushing in along the western coast there uh, from Wainwright down through the Seward Peninsula and that's just going to keep some cooler temperatures going there along with some occasional lower cloudiness and patchy fog. We'll see uh, some spotty showers overspreading the southern interior uh, mainland as we go through this weekend. A little bit of moisture working its way westward. So that is another reason why we're concerned about that potential for some dry lightning. Uh, these thunderstorms that do pop up are not going to produce heavy rainfall, but they will produce lightning. Also some rather breezy winds there up along portions of the Yukon River that's going to enhance the fire danger. For Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Peter Chan.